all-day Egg McMuffins have been a success for McDonald's. Its next breakfast item could be kale. After years of customers clamoring for McMuffins in the afternoon, McDonald's finally gave in last year, rolling out all-day breakfast. Welcome news to Nicole Inaru, who runs 13 McDonald's restaurants in Southern California. How has it been for business? It's been great for business. But on a national level, the story wasn't always so rosy. Sales were in a tailspin for several years, and only a bold move like all-day breakfast would stop the decline. Why do you think it took so long? Ophelia Melendres Kumpf runs operations for Southern California. I think, frankly, we, it, it was it was ourselves in large part. Um, sometimes we stand in the way of ourselves. That's an understatement. As soon as McDonald's introduced all-day breakfast, sales turned around. The CEO even credits all-day breakfast for the company's about face. Now the burger giant wants to take it one step further. We have two different kinds of bowls. One um, has egg whites with turkey sausage and Parmesan cheese. We have another one that has chicken chorizo with scrambled eggs. Our yogurt items, including our fruit and yogurt parfait, now come with Chobani yogurt. That's kale and spinach on top of that bowl. For now, it's being tested at 800 locations in Southern California. So what is it about Southern California specifically, you think, that made it the ideal spot to launch a healthier option or, or more options for, for breakfast? Southern California has long had something that people are looking for uh, light options, if you will. And so uh, we, we created these these tastes based on what they told us they were looking for, and it's all about the innovation. The region is the birthplace of McDonald's. The Egg McMuffin was even invented here, and the first test run of all-day breakfast was in San Diego. But does the rest of the country want a kale breakfast bowl and a Chobani shake from the Golden Arches? The way that it's been positioned is these are these are healthier offerings because they have ingredients like kale in them, and really ingredients that, you know, maybe we didn't associate with McDonald's before. How is the company changing? So I'll tell you that kale and spinach is something that we've had since last year within our salads. But that's, I mean, in the, in the span of McDonald's corporate history, it's still a pretty relatively new ingredient. For us, it was uh, incorporating things that the customers we knew were looking for. We, we realized that by our customers having more choices, it's going to change the way they think about McDonald's. Perhaps, but McDonald's customers haven't always taken to healthy items in the past, and expanding the menu isn't always easy. Franchisees complained about additional items slowing down the kitchen, but customers want more options, which is why owners like Nicole are on board. It's interesting to be in the restaurant and you see those bags or those trays with Big Macs and hash browns or Egg McMuffins and fries, and so, you know, customers are just excited that they can get what they want when they want it.